channel. This is Pumpkin and this is Cupcake. Today we are going to be reading Dr. Floss is the Boss. Chapter 1 National Dessert Day. My name is AJ and I hate going to the dentist. Dentists are weird. Why would anyone want to go to the dentist? Who wants to stick their hands in people's mouths all day long? That's just gross. I only mention this because the other day, the weirdest thing in the history of world happened. It was October 14th. We were in Mr. Cooper's class. We pledged the allegiance and did the world, world of the day like we do every day. That's when the weirdest, the weirdness started. Okay, let's get to work, said Mr. Cooper. Turn your page 23 in your math books. I hate math, but that's when a voice came came over the loudspeaker. It was Mrs. Patty, the, the school secretary. Attention students in Mr. Cooper's class, she announced. Not again, murmured Mr. Cooper. Please report to Mrs. Coney's office. Mrs. Cooney is our is our school nurse. She has blue eyes that look like cotton candy yogurt, the kind with no sprinkles. One time she begged me to marry her, but I told her I couldn't because she was already married to somebody named Mr. Cooney. Pringle up, everybody said Mr. Cooper. We all lined up like like Pringles. Everybody was wondering why we were going to the nurse office. Miss Mrs. Cooney Mrs. Cooney is probably going to check to see if we have head lice, said and Andrea Young. This is this annoying girl with the curly brown hair. Headlights I said, I don't have headlights. Why would we bring headlights to school? asked Ryan. Who will who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food? I don't think how life would fit in my backpack, said Michelle, who never ties his shoes. You could bring two backpacks, suggested Alexa, this girl who rides a skateboard all the time. One, one for each headlight. How would you get the headlights off a car? Asked Neil. Who we call called the kid even though he wears clothes. Not headlights, you dumb heads, shouted Andrea. Headlights. Oh, those words sound way too much alike. Maybe Mrs. Coney is going to weigh and measure us, guessed Emily, Andrea's crybaby friend. She does that every year. We walked a million hundred miles to the nurse's office. Alexa was the line leader. Ryan was the door holder. Good morning, boys and girls, said Mrs. Coney as the fill as we filled into her office. As we walked by her, I whispered to Mrs. Coney, I just wanted you to know that I don't have headlights. Good to know. AJ, she replied. We sat down on long benches. I had to sit to annoy Andrea. Are you going to check us for head lice? Andrea asked. No, said Mrs. Cooney. Are you going to weigh and measure us? asked Emily. No, said Mrs. Cooney. How many of you like to go to the dentist? Andrea raised her hand. She was waving in the air like she was stranded on a desert island trying to signal a plane i love going to the dentist she said i go every six months me too emily who does it who does everything andrea does i hate going to the dentist i announced me too everybody else said well you kids are in luck mrs cooney said mrs cooney because you don't have to go to the dentist today the dentist is coming to you what today is not National Dessert Day, said Mrs. Cooney, so I thought it would be a perfect day to bring in a dentist to visit our school. I'd like to 
I like to introduce you to Dr. Floss. And that is the end of chapter one of Dr. Floss is the Boss. We hope you like and subscribe. subscribe.